Hey y'all, it's Mickey from It's a Southern Life. A friend of mine on YouTube saw in one of my videos where I said that I was an avid tea drinker. They suggested that I do a tea haul or tea obsession video with y'all. So I just thought that I would make it so y'all can just see what kind of tea I am drinking. So this right here, this is my coffee, tea, and fruit station um, that I have in my kitchen. And this is probably electric kettle. This is probably one of the best things I've ever bought for myself. I think I got it from Walmart. Um, I mean, I got it years ago. It boils water in like two minutes and it's great. I have this coffee container that I keep my coffee grinds and my scoop in. Um, maybe I got this from World Market. I'm not really, I don't really remember. Uh, this coffee pot I have had for over nine years and it is wonderful. As you can see, I actually have it ready. Um, it has an automatic, so I have it ready in the morning. Um, I go ahead and do it like it already has my grinds and water and everything in there. So when I wake up in the morning, I have coffee. And right underneath that, well, I do have three drawers. And this one right underneath my coffee and electric kettle is my tea. So I really like the brand Tazo. I think I said it correctly. And these are all of my favorite teas that I have right now. And then I keep my filters. I actually just ordered from Grow Collab. I ordered a bamboo reusable filter for my coffee pot. So that should be coming in this week. So I won't have to use these recycled uh, paper ones anymore. This is just a jumbled of teas that I have gotten from different places or I don't have the box anymore or I, just, or I just couldn't fit them. So we'll go through it all. So I don't drink tea usually in the morning. I will drink um, two cups of coffee in the morning and then in the afternoon around two to three o'clock I will have a cup of tea um, or at night, you know, I'll have some tea that doesn't have caffeine in it. My favorite tea I cannot find anymore is by Tazo. And it is called, crap, what is it called? Something blondie. Um, it is called, I think, like brownie blondie or something like that. It is actually my favorite one. But my second favorite is this vanilla Bean Macaroon by Tazo is way back in there. Um, I actually have them set right here so I can get them pretty fast. Uh, the lemon strawberry is really good. I actually um, had this one today. The organic peach cobbler is delicious. Zen is very, very good. It's very refreshing. Cucumber white, again, that's very refreshing. Um, I actually like to drink that one in the summertime along with this one, it's really good. Vanilla macaroon. This one I got from Fresh Market. I'm sorry, that's my cat meowing. Um, I don't think it has any caffeine in it, but it's really good. It's a very strong tea. I actually can't leave the tea bag in uh, the cup for too long, it's very strong. And let me get these three out for you. So these two do not have any caffeine in them. It's a passion tea and also a chamomile. Of course I have chamomile. Um, this one, if I do need to drink coffee, or not coffee, if I need to drink tea in the morning, then I will go with this one because it has the biggest energy. Now for these loose tea, well they're not loose teas, but they're teas, tea bags that are not in a, um, a box. I have this. Awake breakfast that is full of caffeine too. Vanilla bean. I have some peppermint tea. Some breathe easy for when I was sick. Some ginger tea, which is very good if you have an upset stomach. So is the peppermint. And then just some chamomile. Spice pear. I think these are breathe easies. And some more Tazo. Oh, I drank that when I was sick. It was really good. And these are just some random teas. Energy. 
finish breakfast. And then here in the back, I have just some tea accessories. I have two of these so you can grab loose tea and put it in your cup of boiling water. And then I have a reusable Keurig uh, cup because I have a mini Keurig that when I have guests stay in my house, I just put it in there and um, so they can have coffee so they don't have to feel like they have to come downstairs. And these are some of my loose teas. These are my favorite. This is from a company called David's Tea. It is very, very good. This one is chocolate macaroon. It is delicious. I have this coconut chai black tea. This does not have any caffeine in it. This hot apple cider tea, it is very good. Sorry, you can hear my dog um, drinking water. This lemon pound cake is very, very good as well. Let me see if I can open it with one hand. So that's what it looks like. Let me see if I can open up the macaroon. They also have a red velvet tea that is delicious. I can't open this with one hand, so hang on. So here is the chocolate macaroon. And I can already smell the chocolate. It smells so good. So I have always keep a box of this. This is what my family grew up on when um, I was growing up. So this is what I get to when I make my sweet tea. And also in the summertime, it's really good. If you brew this with either some of the passion fruit or the organic peach cobbler, and you brew one of these with this, it is very good for an afternoon ice summer tea. So that is my tea collection. I hope you enjoyed this random video. And I promise I will do more videos. I'm trying to get back into the swing of things from being gone for so long due to work and other personal commitments. But I hope to see you very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.